very strong it's uh, mild and bold it smells rich it gives elegance it gives classy it gives edible like when you smell me you you are like please come closer i want to eat you now <laughs> all right all right all right amazing channel how was your week <laughs> mine was hectic hectic in that today i woke up at 2 p.m mm. yeah it has been bad and i have a surprise for you i have a surprise for you surprise <laughs> i know this looks like an an apple it looks edible don't focus on before we go to the bottle you guys you're you're not you're not good people you didn't tell me that you can get a perfume at affordable price you didn't tell me that you didn't tell me that you can you can smell like a million dollars at an affordable price <laughs> so first thing i bought this bottle <laughs> I bought it <laughs> and then I was given some variety of perfumes designer perfumes imagine but I chose one fantastic perfume which filled this spray bottle which filled it and the beauty of it is now I can be using this to refill the perfume I want mm. I do not have to buy a 2000 2000 2000 plus perfume and keep it up up, up until it's done for me to change it if it has it is not okay with me if i don't love it with this i can sample and know whether i love that scent or not and i can go for another option that blew my mind you people you could have told me before you could have told me before like i was here struggling and you didn't tell me so i was given this one to sample this perfume right here <laughs> i'm telling you i just told them i want something which smells edible And it's like a perfume it's a spray oil it's like an oil so when i i spray it like that it smells like 10 over 10 minus nothing it smells edible it, it smells rich it smells bossy it, it smells gully it gives elegance i've been smelling like this this week mm. Every <laughs> every time I smell myself, I'm like, ah! oh. <laughs> you didn't tell me this, so I was given this to go and sample. And if I like it, if I like it, I can now buy the the whole bottle. This perfume, <sighs> it blew my mind. It really blew my mind. The name of this perfume is Sunrise. sun rice first of all it lasts for 24 hours i can smell myself even after i take a shower i can also smell myself second the smell is not it's not very strong it's uh, mild and bold it smells rich it gives elegance it gives classy it gives edible like when you smell me you you are like please come closer i want to eat you now <laughs> all right all right all right yeah so 
I didn't know that you can do that. So I'm sampling this and I love it. I love it. Yeah. Mungen show my pema singe kwa ni nateseka ati when my perfume imesha. Hmm? Remember guys, this is what I, I use. Like, right now we are almost at 2500. So I didn't know you can sample. They, they even add this, but you can sample it. It blew my mind. It blew my mind. And I'm I'm here for it. So this is my new smell. Right now. Yes, as we look for money. <laughs> yeah, so this has been my brand for the longest time. For the longest time. So my amazing channel. Welcome to my amazing channel. Woke up, took my shower and said, let me just wear this dress. I've been working out, by the way. I've been doing workouts for three days. And uh, on yesterday, that was my 21st, 21 days of 30 days of accountability challenge. I'm left with nine days and I am here for it. I'm so proud of myself. I feel so good. And my body is giving. Can you see my shoulders? Can you see? Even before we go, can you see my shoulders? Yeah. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. So... I can't wait to see or to measure or to see the results with you. And one thing about perfumes, please don't rub. You see, after I've applied, you can see, I didn't like rub it or dab. If you do that, you are messing with the spray or the perfume molecules. So don't do that. Don't do that. That is the thing that is making your, your perfume not to last. When you spray it, leave it. Allow it to. This one for me is a oil oil perfume you see yeah it smells nice so yes as i was saying i'm on 25 21 of 30 days of accountability challenge and i really wanted to see if i can do it if i can manage to be accountable for 30 days i know i've missed four days of it so i can say i've worked for 21 minus four i've worked for um, is it 17 days? Yeah, so I missed four days. But regardless, that is consistency. So, welcome to my amazing channel. If this is your first time meeting um, this amazing, beautiful soul who smells nice, like a 10 over 10 when it's nothing. <laughs> welcome to the family. Here we serve good vibes, good food, good food, content for weight loss, lifestyle, wellness. And how to be a girly, how to be a girly, how to carry yourself, how to be presentable, how to be elegant, how to present yourself, yeah, how to carry yourself, yeah, you know, and uh, every details that I share with you, it's from my experience, how I have experienced life and from my own perspective, yeah, so you do not have to agree with me in everything I'm saying, yeah, you do not have to. Yeah, so if this is your first time, welcome to the family. Please make sure you click that subscription bell and that notification button to be notified every time I'm uploading a new video, all right? Yes, we are on our journey to a 1,000 or 1K subscribers and we are at 950 the last time I checked. I don't know whether some people unsubscribed because it's allowed. <laughs> I want to be left with a community that is die, ride or die with me, okay? Yes, in bad and good days. So, karibuni sana to my vlog today. Today, my cleaning lady um did not come. She's not feeling well. She called me. And... Uh, and now I'm confused. I'm like, how? Tell me, what, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm not used to this. <laughs> I'm not supposed to. I'm not, I'm not used to this. Because I know on Saturday she comes, she cleans my clothes, she cleans my house, she cleans my utensils. And now I'm like, oh, of course I'm not going to do the laundry, but I'm going to do cleaning on my kitchen. I, I feel like my kitchen has been neglected. <laughs> so today I will be doing cleaning content. But before I go to the cleaning content, there are some few things I've learned this week and I would love to share with you. I would love to share with you. I posted about most women 
having traumas and the traumas coming from men i i didn't get any backlash i was expecting backlash and then i was wondering is my data true do you agree with me what do you think because most women have uh, the problem is most women have they 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 allow their lives to revolve around men and that's why it is uh very possible for them to have traumas which is caused by men <laughs> because they put men on pedestal they 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 let their world revolve around men they make it uh everything be about men like i found a new man i stopped going to my job i find a new man i stop running my business i find a new man i stop working out i find a new man i stop going to classes like i defer why just because i found a man i think that is the problem with us women we sacrifice so much for men and don't think and i don't think they they can sacrifice the same to us i don't know i don't know this is a debate which i'm leaving it open i would love to hear your suggestions like what do you think do we give men a lot of power to our lives in that we forget to live our lives and allow them to just control us and our life to revolve around them like and and that's why maybe most of the time when uh you are in a marriage for a long time and you it's no longer it has not worked and you move out from it you no longer know who you are you don't know where you can start you don't know anything because you gave every bit of yourself and forgot that you had a life for yourself to run hmm? yeah so that was the debate for last week and there was something i would love to hear your opinion be honest with me do we put men on pedestal as women and forget about living our lives and is that the only mistake we make when it comes to men and if you're a man here will you be okay with a lady who stops everything she's doing for you and now she starts living her lives according to your terms will you be comfortable with that yes tell me on the comment section tell me what you think so there's something i did over the week i changed my nails Ta -da! i changed my nails and this time my nail tech told me that i want you to be a girly and i want you to i want to do a french is it a french or french i want to do french on you and i've never done this and when i got home the first thing my daughter told me was like "Ooh, your nails look so good and i was like i know <laughs> yeah and yeah the nails really are giving so i cut my nails they were very long they were very long i cut my nails so this time i'm rocking in short nails short nails and she just she just knows she just knows how i am she just knows what i want at the right time like yeah so i'm rocking in purple french French with white and I feel amazing in it. I, uh, I feel more confident. Yeah. I've done red since January, like red, 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 red every time. So for a change, this is amazing. But red, red nails, if you know, you know, they give that bold, confidence, beautiful look. Yeah. You look unstoppable in red nails. Mm-hmm. If you've never tried i'm telling you try it and come back and tell me how it was for you okay in the meantime i'm smelling myself <sighs> please smell good smell good <laughs> people will never rem forget you if you smell good they'll be like oh i miss that smell i miss that smell <laughs> okay my people allow me to start cleaning my home my kitchen to be precise because it you're here for it let's go and subscribe okay subscribe share with your friends and click that bell please don't watch my videos and don't subscribe do it do it thank you for subscribing let's do this so i am here I'm facing my kitchen.
but before I start this thorough cleaning, I want to do something. Let, let me show you. This is my bowl. My hot water. Sugar and salt. Mandogo. Yeah. So, out of nowhere, <laughs> I said, uh, let me just make some chapatis because I've been craving them, but they have been craving them over the week. And why can't I fulfill my cravings? So I said before I go into deep cleaning of my kitchen, let me prepare the dough. And I use ghee to prepare my chapatis and I add some sugar and salt. Sometimes I normally add some turmeric to make my chaparis to be yellow but i found out that when i add some turmeric my chaparis tend to be hard they, they are not very soft so and i'm using ndovu and if you know ndovu was the best flour that was the only flour we had in those days in those days and I had someone on TikTok talking about Ndovu and how it makes good chaparis. And it's true. I've tried. I My brand has been X or that other one is called what? Um, I can't remember. That other one from Mombasa. What is the name of this one? Ajab. Yes, Ajab. But I changed from Ajab to Ndovu and I'm telling you that that flour makes amazing chapatis. Try it. Try it. Our moms were right. I, I remember seeing it, my mom using it. My mom was a caterer, by the way. She used to bake a lot for us. Cakes, biscuits, and that is the only memory I have for my mom. And we were done. And now, and I was done doing the dove the da or the dough <laughs> so i cover it for as long as i will finish cleaning and it's perfect and that is one hack to make your chapatis have layers and be super soft you make the da ali and you keep it covered for it to settle and everything yeah it contributes to cooking amazing chapati so i return my sugar and my salt yes and now after this i will be so ready to do the cleaning so i said let me just do that yeah and if you've never tried ghee chapatis this is a sign today i'm being the wife i am the wife so this is how my kitchen looks right now. It is so messy. So messy. I had a very tough week. I have been busy. But before we continue, allow me to wash my hands, then we go deep. So first off, I want I'm not clean. I want to clean my this place. This is where I place my glasses, my water bottle. I want to start. Yes. My espresso cups, I will miss them. Whoever is going to buy my espresso machine, I'm going to give them the cups. They were too decent. This. Look at that. When I used to take alcohol, <laughs> grants was a whiskey girl. <laughs> Lions roaring in the morning 
sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming home Savannah We'll never be alone Savannah The beauty of the world Savannah Let's all take a road Savannah Just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. So I was done cleaning the glasses and left them to dry as I do the cleaning now for my utensils. Yeah, so as I'm doing the, the cleaning, maybe now we can talk. We can talk about stuff about life. We can talk about stuff about life. And <laughs> I want to talk about Pikmisha, Pikmisha, Clownisha, Barbara the Builder, Bob the Builder. Those chicks that uh, when they see someone is struggling, they want to fix, they want to fix that person. They want, to, I want to fix that man for myself. And when things go well, he's, he's not going to forget me because I was there for him through thick and thin. <laughs> My dear sister. My dear sister, it is not your job to fix a man. If you go on a first date and a man starts start telling you about his ex and how his ex was crazy and how he hates his sex, please take your running shoes and start running. <laughs> Don't look at it as an opportunity to fix that man. I know we do that because of traumas. We do that because wherever we were, where we grew up, yeah, we had to work very hard for someone to validate us or someone to love us. Uh, your parents were unavailable, okay? They were emotionally unavailable and you were to do much. You were to maybe pass your exams or maybe... Uh, do a lot or audition 
for them to see you or to validate you and that is the same thing you've been doing in your relationships hmm? that's why you want to fix men that's why you want to fix people hmm? they fix you you fix them and when it's when they 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 are stable they are good they go to, to someone else and you are bitter you start asking what's wrong with you what 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 did you ever do you've done nothing the the only problem you've done the only mistake you've done is to fix someone you people come to you when they are broken and you fix them and then they leave when they are healed because that is your job that's what you do so for you to overcome that you need to heal that trauma it is not your job to fix an adult okay yeah they'll fix themselves they will imagine and you usually see it because when they are fixed they go and start a relationship with someone else so bob the builder eh pikmisha clownisha eh stop that stop building these constructions because it's not working and you will turn out to be a very bitter babes and i don't want that to happen to you okay please stop fixing people stop let people be Whoever you see is bitter let them be bitter whoever you see they are unhealed let them be if they want to fix it they will but it is not your job to do it i've said it million times and i'm not going to repeat this again okay yes if you are a chick somewhere and you sit down and start asking a man what does she have that i don't have please mimi hata siji tukufajie didi tukuwekele mikono I don't know cuz the rate at which you hate yourself is so much is so much in that now when I hear you ask a man that question I'm like oh my god did you just ask that that shows that you you hate yourself like you really hate yourself in that and your low self esteem is very low in that when someone when you get a little bit of in mis- inconveniences or rejection you start feeling like it's your fault or there's something wrong with you and now you should fix things or you should don't do that at this rate i was so tired i wanted to not do this but i just decided to do it regardless because uh, i might not get another time to work on this kitchen i get busy this this get crazy Yeah so I just decided to wipe this side because this was the only side which was left and wipe everything there. Yeah, and I was done actually doing it. This is where I put my flour, chocolate, sugar, salt, my my additives or yeah, my additive, my food additives, flour masala, all that and then my glasses were already dry. So I had to like arrange them there because now the cabinets so were very clean. Done, yeah. The kitchen my kitchen and is I clean. Was I done. Everything every utensil is clean. So I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook my chapati. Yeah. So before everything I melt my ghee. This ghee is usually melted <laughs> when you're buying it. But because temperatures are very low, it has imeshikana. So lazima kwanza ni chome first of all before I start rolling my dough. And I was talking about ghee. Ghee is actually the best the best cooking oil you're supposed to be use healthy very healthy no cholesterol and all that i normally use it to cook my chapatis to cook my um eggs to cook my pancakes this is what i use yes so you can either use ghee or you can use butter that's what i've been using for the longest time and it's amazing if you've never eaten or chicken ghee chapatis this is a sign try it i know it's a bit expensive but expensive is relative 
anything for your body so after the dust stays for like 20 to 30 minutes you see it becomes soft so it's ready to for me to roll yeah a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine we want to chase the night And uh, that's how I do my chaparis. I cook four by four <laughs> to make the work easier. And you see how they are giving brown. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like it's easier cooking chapatis like this than cooking one by one. It takes a lot of time. But when you do like four. And look at that. Dovu. Look at that. My chaparis have gone group of schools. And with that being said, thank you, my beautiful people, for watching my vlog. See you on my next vlog and have a fantastic week.